Howdy folks, I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Today, it's story time. At first, we're going to go around this way. And if you go up here, talk to this thing. This is, there's something up there, but we can't reach it. Open it again, can't reach it. Open it up again, can't reach it. Open it up again, still can't reach it. One more time. And then finally, Cloud Kick! And we get a mega elixir. <laughs> Open it again and it's empty. No more kicking it this time. Alright, let's get over here and start story time. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's hear your story, Cloud. The one about Sephiroth and the crisis of the planet. Let's hear everything. Tell it all. All the scintillating little details. Oh, really? Oh look, another story that starts with one day. Obviously they recruit young and soldier. Okay, so he's sick. And there's a good look at our uh, friend, Sephiroth. This is the first time we've actually seen him in the game. He actually has some pretty lousy material. We can actually look at his material that he was carrying back then. <laughs> A reactor is malfunctioning, producing brutal creatures. Okay. I'll make a reactor at Nibelheim. Okay. Oh, so Cloud's hometown is Nibelheim. And considering we know that uh, Cloud's hometown is Nibelheim, we know Cloud grew up with Tifa, we can conclude that Tifa's hometown is also Nibelheim. Something just crashed into the truck? And it's, and it's, well, I want to say boss time, it's fighting time. We are in control of Cloud at level 1 with 140 HP. And... Sephiroth is much higher than us, and you can see he takes no damage. I attacked and missed. <laughs> and now he's going to attack Cloud. With critical hits, 851, and I'm dead. And Sephiroth takes him down in one hit. Well, two hits. We're not in control of Sephiroth, by the way, for during during the uh, battles in during this uh, little flashback here. He's completely AI controlled. I'm only in control of Cloud, and as you can see, there's not a whole lot to do. I can just attack, 
and my attacks don't do anything. I usually I missed the dragon. And then we reach Nibelheim. Small detour for the take on the monster, and then we reach the home, reach the, the, the town. No hometown. Hmm. So Genova is his mother, but he laughs about his father. He's got issues. Alright, we're in control of Cloud here. Let's talk to this guy here. Let's talk to this one. We'll do what we always do. Shall we practice? There it is, that's the classic uh, uh, cloud stance. <laughs> the other one's doing it. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Sephiroth. Hmm. Alright, All right, let's just go into town. What do you want, Barrett? <laughs> There's the stance we were just talking about. That's right, it was. Well, look at Barry getting shot down by Tifa. Now, I don't know how Eris knew they were childhood friends unless they unless they said something to you, unless they, they unless Eris and Tifa talked about it while they were at a party or something. Afraid of us, huh? So if Earth goes into the end, and now we're in control of Cloud again. How about this guy? How come? Hmm, okay. Let's talk to this guy that came out of this building over here. Take my picture. Well, that's just rude. Get back in the house, it's dangerous. Oh, now he recognizes us. He's not going to go in the house, is he? Alright. We can actually patrol, or patrol, or look around town and stuff, or we can just go straight to the end and move on with the plot. But let's look around first. Let's go in here. Uh, okay. Let's talk to, apparently we're talking to this lady. Uh, we obviously can't go in that building very far. Okay. Let's go over here into this room, or this built this uh, this house. Oh, really? All right. Of course, an RPG character with only a, that's only a single parent, with only a single parent.
Uh, <laughs> obviously, she obviously, obviously, that I, I can talk. I promise. She recognizes her own son. Now, I'm not really sure what that little animation is there. I'm gonna assume maybe she's trying to hold back tears because she's happy to see her son after however long he's been in Soldier now. Of course, she's not going to be—he's not going to be able to finish the sentence without another flashback, or a flash. Now, this scene looks familiar. Yeah, remember we saw this exact scene, this exact text back when we first uh, met Eris. We were at her house before we tried to escape and head back to Sector Seven, when he fell asleep in the room next to Eris's. <laughs> well, I can cast I can cast fire with with fire materia. Yeah, flashing getting a little irritating. All right, we can't go back in the house without irritating Bear or Teeth or the other, so we're just gonna move on to the next house. Let's go over here. So, what's this? Obviously, this is Tifa's house. Yeah, what? Yeah, I did. All right, I can get in the room over here. Not much exploration I can do, but we can go upstairs, and we can go in this room here. Nothing really interesting. I'm gonna guess this is probably Tifa's parents' room. Because Tifa's room is right over here. Yep. Let's go over here and look at the uh, desk real quick. I think there's a note over here I can look at, I think. Ah, the letter. Here it is. Yeah. I remember clearly. I read it. It was a letter addressed to Tifa from the son of the guy that runs the general store. Tifa, how are you? I just arrived at Midgar eight days ago. Yesterday, all of Nibelheim got together to welcome me. The only person that we couldn't get a hold of was Cloud. And everyone said he wasn't really that close to us. So even if we asked, he probably wouldn't have come anyway. Well, enough about him. Midgar is really something. But to tell, you the, tell the truth, I feel so behind on everything. So out of it. Even the rooms of people in the slums are clean. Right now, I'm living in the slums, but I plan to move to a really nice room like the ones I've seen in the magazines once I make some money. But to do that, I guess I have to find a job first. That's right, I still haven't found a job yet. I lied to my parents and told them that I found a great job with Shinra Incorporated. I wonder if it's too late to go back. Sometimes I, want, sometimes I think I should have taken over my parents' store. Uh, yeah, I remember. Because there was some stuff about me, about Cloud. I just made it here to Midgar, but all I think about is Nibelheim. Tifa, is that stupid old water tower still working? Is the old man at the inn doing well? Are my parents still at the shop every day? Have any monsters attacked? And most of all, how are you, Tifa? It feels like I haven't seen you for years. We were all talking about you last night. Everyone likes you. Of course they do. For two very big, obvious reasons. Yep, I just did that. But because everyone idolizes you, I couldn't very well stab them in the pack. I always acted cool, but actually I was just afraid of being jilted. <laughs> this will become a love letter. And it doesn't actually give the name of the person who wrote it, it just said it was the son of the guy in the general store. Alright, let's interact with the piano over here. If I can get Cloud to face the fucking piano! 
Just a little. Alright, keep this little, uh, little tune he's about to play in mind. You might recognize that as the uh, overworld theme to Final Fantasy VII. You can actually play it here, um, but I don't know it well enough to actually. I'm gonna say no, I didn't, because I, I don't know it well enough to actually play it. Uh, I'll have to get a guide to it. But you'll want to come back here to this piano, and you want to play that theme a little bit, that, that tune a little bit later. All right. One last thing we want to do is come up here and check out this uh, wardrobe over here, and we see orthopedic underwear. That's right. We got Tifa's tights. <laughs> it's just kidding, don't get mad. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. There's a little, again, a little comic relief there. Alright, let's head out of Tifa's house. Let's go over to this house across this little bridgeway here. This is kind of a little interesting thing here. Talk to this lady here. become two little kids. I, I find this kind of funny. Shinra. The little boy is trying to copy her old, his older sister. <laughs> Shinra. Soldier. Salsa. <laughs> Are you going to kill the monsters? Are you going to... <laughs> I don't know, they're kind of funny. Little kids trying to... Well, brother's trying to copy his older sister. Alright, let's go upstairs here. And nothing up here of interest. There's more uh, treasure chests that are just part of the map. So you can't open them. So we're ready to leave. We can't go into the Shinra Mansion, which is this big building up here at the north. And it's not really spoilers that it's called the Shinra Mansion. He would actually tell you if I try to approach it. This mansion. I'll come here later. Okay, well he didn't say it, but that's that's called the Shinra Mansion. We'll, we'll, it's not going to be spoilers. We'll be going there very, very soon. And we can't go north uh, out of here because that advances the plot that we don't want to do yet. Up ahead is Mount Nabel. I'll tell you about the mountain time we went into the mountains. Uh, some other time. This guy right here. Who are you? Other towns. Yeah. So who are you? I asked that question already, didn't I? Tifa's... Ah, Diva's father. How typical of a father to say that line. Alright, there's not much else we could do here. We can't leave uh, Nidgar, or not Nidgar, we can't leave Nibelheim either to the north or to the uh, to the west. We've already visited all the houses we can, you see there's not very many houses here. So let's go on into the end and move on with the plot. Actually, let's talk to this guy first. This is, he's got some pretty interesting conversation. Why is anybody asking us that question? Why else wouldn't we be here? This guy is Zangan. He teaches children martial arts. And he can jump over my head. He has 128 students all over the world. And Tifa is his student here. She can do a lot of limit breaks, but she's not really that powerful. All right, I don't think we can go. I don't think we can get anything from back here. Uh, do, do, do. We talked to the guy here, but he didn't really have much to say, so we'll just go upstairs and talk to Sephiroth, who's already up here. So, what's up, Sephi? Feel like you know the place, huh? All right. Uh, you can talk to him again. He just gives you the ellipses. Let me start tomorrow and get some sleep soon. Okay. If you want to do any more exploration around the town, if you haven't done any of it, or if you want to do some more for some weird reason, you can say it's still early. But let's not piss off Sephiroth, shall we? He's got a sword longer than... He's got a long sword. So we'll just say, yeah, let's get some sleep. So we got a young female that's going to be our guide to Mount Nebel. Who in the world could it be 
of all the people in this town who could possibly be our tour guide. Now, I know I'm pronouncing it Nibelheim and I'm pronouncing it Mount, Mount Nebel. I just don't think Mount Nebel sounds right. I'm not sure it's probably how it's supposed to be. But not every time I'm going to read the word that's... Like I said, that's how I read it when I first uh, uh, read the name. So that's how I'm going to pronounce it whenever I'm you know, doing these doing these kind of things. So please don't correct my pronunciation. That's just going to irritate me. So let's see. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, how about these soldiers here? Can we talk to them? Say it again. Okay, so I slept in a little. <laughs> so you couldn't get any sleep, huh? I still don't think we can actually get the... <laughs> so Ross says, wait over here. <laughs> Alright, I'm in a hurry. What are you waiting for? Now, I think if we talk to Sephiroth, it moves on the plot. So let me talk to Tifa's father one more time. Right. Dude, I understand you're Tifa's father. But I'm pretty sure if you if he wanted to, you couldn't stop Sephiroth from climbing these mountains. He would, even without his weapon in hand, he could just push you aside with his finger. Alright, Sephiroth, let's talk to you. Once the guide gets here, we're heading out. As if that wasn't, as if that wasn't plainly obvious when Sephiroth said she's young, I hope we can rely on her. Everybody knew who it was going to be. Especially if we all we, we already figured out that Cloud and Tifa were from the same hometown. Well, there's a line he doesn't use more than once in this game. Alright, well here we go. Um... Wait, what does this guy want? Oh, right, he wants a picture. <laughs> Cloud's like, whatever. You coming, Seffy? <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. I forgot about the flash. Of course, he's not going to let us see it now. That would that would spoil some plot lines. Another FMV that I think was part of the uh, Final Fantasy VII trailer back in the 90, back in ninety seven. Make our reactor is built in Mount Nebel. The cold mountain air of Mount Nebel was the same. Luckily, we don't have to walk too far through the mountains. We reach this little wooden uh, bridge here. I don't think we can go back, can we? Oh, we can. Ah, there's no need to. There's nothing, to, there's nothing to do. Let's go up here. Talk to Tifa. Alright, now we can't go back because the soldier's blocking us. So now let's follow her. What's happening? Oh no, the bridge is collapsing. Whee! And just like in uh, Sector Seven, uh, Sector Five, we can survive long falls of infinite heights without hardly a scratch. Of course, nobody's got any injuries. No broken bones. No twisted ankles. Sephiroth's walking a little funny, but. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's we had two soldiers with us. Now we only have one uh, ship of soldier. Hmm. Alright, now we're going to be able to tour Mount Nabel to a point. There's not a whole lot we can do here. There are some places we can't go because of... Uh, map limitations and uh, plot uh, convenience. But, as you can see our inventory here, we have Cloud at level 1 and Sephiroth at level 50. And we're in the back row. Let's take a look at our equipment, shall we? Cloud has the Buster Sword, Iron Bangle, and the Power Wrist. 
why he start why we don't have the power wrist when we started the game even though he had these two wep these two are weapon and armor when we started the game oh well it would be nice to have this power wrist early on Sephiroth his weapon is called the Masamoon. I know that uh, most people like to pronounce it Masamune, but again, I read I, I read things as I read them the first time, and I always pronounce it Masamune. So, or Masamune. He got the gold armor, which is actually a pretty good armor. We can get that a little bit later. And he has a very, very good accessory called the Tough Ring. Increases vitality and spirit by 50. It's a very good accessory. Um, it can be gotten. I can't remember off the top of my head exactly where, I think you can steal it off of somebody, but I'm not entirely sure. But take a look at his stats. His attack is 99, attack percentage of 255, which means you can't miss. 255 is the highest attack percentage, so Sephiroth will never miss. Defense of 46, defense percentage of 4, and magic defense of 28. So he doesn't really have the best, he doesn't have the best armor, but his weapon is pretty good. Legendary sword that only Sephiroth can wield. He's got 6 slots that are linked and no growth. As far as Materia, as you see, he's got Revive, Restore, Earth All, Fire, light, Ice All, Lightning All, and as you can see, they are all also Masters, so you can actually get a look at what the Master Materia looks like. Even better, we actually do get into random battles during this flashback. We don't get any experience from them, but we do get uh, random battles here, and you can kind of get a, a pre- Sephiroth will use some of the, uh, the Tier 3 Magics. In this game, so you kind of get a preview of what they'll look like later in the game. And so what's funny is if you try to take any of his material away, he just gives you the ellipses. <laughs> like, don't touch my materia. <laughs> Cloud, on the other hand, his materia is not quite as impressive. He has preemptive. That's it. It has no AP. And a, and it's actually, this is another type of materia we haven't encountered yet. It's purple, and it's called independent materia. Um, this is actually what I like to call, also called passive materia. Oh, we haven't encountered this. We have, we have the cover materia. That's right, I forgot about that. So this is another type of independent materia. It's uh, a materia that only, it just uh, automatically works as soon as you equip it. What it does, as you can see by the description, increases rate of preemptive attacks. So it do, he doesn't even use it for anything. So he's so excited about getting new materia. He got one new materia, and it doesn't really do anything. And and the the battles that we get here in this uh, this area, I have yet to come across a preemptive, preemptive attack. So basically, he's got just a purple rock in his inventory. Yeah. We don't have we can't look at our items because there's no need. To, we, we're we're in a flashback, so we don't have access to our items. We'll never use our limit break because <laughs> anytime we get hit, we're automatically dead no matter what. Sephiroth will never take any damage because he's under what's called the peerless status condition, which basically makes him invincible, which is why no matter what hit he takes, he will not die. Um, we can move the order around if you want, and you can put Sephiroth in the back row, and put Cloud in the front row <laughs> if you wanted to. doesn't really matter. Cloud's going to die regardless. Uh, let's take a look at his status. All right. Uh... Strength of 78, Dexterity of 65, Vitality of 121, Spirit of 121. That's uh, those Vitality and Spirit. That's from that uh, Tough Ring that get boosted up by 50. His attack power is 177, Attack Percentage of 255, Defense of 167, Magic Defense of 149. So even with even if he didn't have the Peerless status in one, he's actually pretty. Good, he's got some pretty damn good defense right there. All right. Uh, Alright, you always, like I said, can't look at limit breaks, so... Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, tour um, the mountain, mountain of Belt area. And even though you saw Tifa and that other soldier, you know, merge into Cloud, uh, they're not part of the party. Only Sephiroth and Cloud will be doing any fighting. Actually, really, it'll only be Sephiroth doing the fighting. Like I said, anything that Cloud does, he's going to get killed as soon as they, they, they kind of they point the finger. Point! Cloud falls down dead. Um, and we'll explore this mount this giant mountain with just Sephiroth, Tifa, and one soldier in the next episode of Final Fantasy VII. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching. I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade, and I'll see you later.